So parents who leave their children home alone, this is a bad one as well. Um, there's parents out here, they'll leave six-year-olds in the house on their own, and they, yeah, believe it or not, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's parents out here, they will leave their six-year-olds home alone. I know it's hard to believe, but their parents, like, they might even think it's innocent and minor. Oh, I'm just going to the shop. That shop could result in your you dying, you know. A wardrobe or something could collapse on the you. When you are left home alone, when you get out to listen, if you ain't done this before or you don't know, if you ain't done this before, you probably ain't a real kid. You probably have never a child or never at least a mischievous child. Every kid has done it or you've at least seen, you know, like them home bloopers thing or whatever, innit? you've been framed or all that nonsense. And that. You, if you ain't done it, you must have a little cousin or a nephew or someone who's done it before. Innit? Yeah. Parents are downstairs. Where's Jelani? He's quiet, he's quiet. You know when they use are upstairs and they're quiet, they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing, innit? Boom, go upstairs and check the you. The youth got pseudo cream or some kind of moisturizer, plaster all over his face and that. When you are left alone, they just get up to mischief. Mischief. There's youths out here, wardrobes and that I fell on them whilst the parents are in the house. So they ain't been left alone or whatever, innit? The wardrobes fell on top of the youth whilst in the house and the youths had to scream for the the parents to run upstairs and what if the youth was in the yard on their own? How long does it take to suffocate underneath a wardrobe? A minute? You could, <laughs> a youth could die from that, but people don't see that. They're like, oh, no, 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 it's all right. I'm just going to my neighbor's yard and that. Don't do that. Don't leave a kid unattended. It's not a fucking joke. Yeah, now it's a one in a million chance that that could happen. Well, boy, I ain't taking that risk. Parents who leave their children in car parks alone. You know how many times, and just look out for it now. Look out for it. You probably notice it. When you go to a car park, if you're driving, you might pull up in Tesco or Asda or Sainsbury's car park. Some of these parents leave their kids in the car and go shopping. Don't fucking do that. You're mad. You're mad. Even my little sister, I won't even pull up in a petrol station and go in the kiosk inside the petrol station to pay for my fuel and leave my sister in the car. And this is when my sister's nine years old, you know. She's 10 now. But no, I wouldn't do that. Would not do that. That is irresponsible. Laziness, oh, I can't bother to unstrap my kid out of the car seat and that. Well, they don't fucking take your kid out then if you can't be bothered. There's been stories on the, on the, on the net, on the TV, sorry. Parent, passers-by had to smash the fucking uh, car window because the parent has left the ute in the car on a hot summer's day and gone into Asda. You think, well, why do I need to smash the car window? But have you ever got in a car on a hot summer's day? It's like op opening up a fucking oven. It's like when you land in Jamaica or Dubai. I've only been to Jamaica and Dubai is a hot country. I've never been to Greece or Spain, so I don't know. What the, I know it's hot, but I don't know how hot it is. Boy, my man jumped off the plane in Jamaica a couple of times. Man. They bust open that fucking plane door. Boy, the heat hit you. Literally like opening up an oven door. That's what it's like inside of a car on a hot summer's day after 30 minutes or so. And people, they leave their fucking use in the car. Or even their pets is bad as well. People have had to smash car windows and that because they see the pet in the fucking, the dog in the fucking car on a hot summer's day. People don't fucking think, are you leaving your ute in the car in Sainsbury's? Car park. Asda, car park. Tesco, car park. So let's get this straight. So... You leave your child, which is supposed to be more valuable. <laughs> so, I mean, so, so you wouldn't leave a Rolex watch on your car seat. You wouldn't leave an AP watch on your car seat. You wouldn't even leave some red bottoms on your car seat, brand new box of red bottoms on your, in your car seat alone in a Tesco car park, but you leave your you. Isn't your child supposed to be priceless? Most, the most, the most valuable thing in this world, but you leave your child in a car park alone. You must be going crazy, man. All the time, just see you in, in, the, in the back on a Game Boy or tablet or whatever, innit? 
You think you think we live in a world where there ain't maniacs that wouldn't will, will, want to smash the car window and take the kid and kidnap the kid? There's man out here that would do that. But no, they won't, it won't happen to us. My you won't go missing. I'll take that risk. You're mad. So yeah, parents talk about, oh yeah, my six-year-old, oh, he's responsible. If he was responsible, he would have a fucking wife and a job. Ain't no, there's no such thing as a responsible six-year-old. No. 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 If he was responsible, he out there working. He would be out there providing for his own family. But no, he's got his mum to look after him, so therefore he ain't responsible, yeah? Leaving six-year-olds in the yard. And, the and obviously the worst one is when the parents them and man spoke about this before as well yeah. you got parents who leave their kids in the house and yeah they might even just go next door to the neighbor's yard and they leave the kids in the house with that big fucking dirty Japanese Akita and they come back to the house and the the dog the German Shepherd Japanese Akita Pitbull has moved the child to death and they don't understand why. Why would you leave an animal, an unpredictable, moral-less animal with your child? Now, if it's some little tiny chihuahua and the child is 10 years old, then yeah, the child has a good fighting chance. But there's no way you're going to leave your child in... There's no, you're a mad person if you're going to leave a child in a, a house or a room with an animal that can overpower this child and this child has no chance against this animal. Remember, animals, dogs, they're bullies, you know. They will victimise a kid because they know that they can't get away with it. They want to do that to a grown-ass man because they know they'll be in for a fight. But they'll, they'll do it because they know that they can get away with killing this kid or they think they can win this battle or not. Mad person, you leave a kid in the yard with... With, with a dangerous animal and the, and the animal kills the kid and you don't understand why. No. Oh, I'm just going. No, you're not just going to your neighbor's yard. Take the kid with you. Leave the fucking dog in the house on its own. Nuts. Like, no, it just would not happen. I did, like, my little sister, I'm not leaving my little sister at, at the age of, my sister's 10 years old. I wouldn't leave her in a, in, in, in a house or a room with a dog. I need to be there. And if the dog attacks my sister, and I feel like, yeah, I'm taking that dog's life in it, in the story. If I go to someone's house with my little sister and they got a dog, just no say, that your dog is in danger if your dog attacks my sister. You best be preparing your funeral for your dog. 